everyone, I'm Kirsten Heim. Thank you for joining me for the June 23rd ACL Weekly Update. Now that we are well into summer, recreation is heating up here at the lake. As a recreation community, every event and activity that we do relies heavily on volunteer participation of the membership. Without volunteers, some of our larger events could face cancellation. We are currently in desperate need for new members to join the Recreation Commission as well as volunteers to help with planning and working the events. If you would be interested in joining the Recreation Commission or volunteering your time to work an event, please contact us at 815-492-2769. Join us for Farm Fun Day this Saturday, June 26th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the Clubhouse parking lot. Children of all ages are encouraged to come and participate in the fun farm-themed activities, such as learning how to make fresh ice cream, butter, and milking a cow. At this time, we are still in need of two additional volunteers, so if you are not up to anything Saturday and would like to help out, contact Tim Brokel, Communications and Recreation Manager, using the email below. The ACL Children's Garden Grand Opening is also taking place this Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon in the Clubhouse parking lot, in addition to Farm Fun Day. Be sure to stop by for the grand opening of the garden and to listen in on story time with award-winning author P.J. Hardness. Try scuba this Saturday in the ACL swimming pool from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. There are still a couple of spots available, so be sure to sign up at the office this week to reserve your spot. Canyon Kids Camp will be kicking off before we know it. Be sure to register your kids, age 5 to 10, by the registration deadline of next Wednesday, June 30th. Kids will join us for a Kids in the Garden series from July 7th through July 9th, 1 to 3 p.m. daily. Registration forms are available on our website and hard copies are in the office lobby. July 3rd is fast approaching and we have a full day of Independence Day festivities planned at Nixon Beach. At 10.30 a.m., we ask all participating golf carts, UTVs, and ATVs to line up at Nixon Beach for the golf cart parade. Then, at 11 a.m., the golf cart parade will depart Nixon Beach following the Rumble and Roll Ball Race. If you haven't already, be sure to purchase your Rumble and Roll Ball tickets online or from the Association office for a chance to win a cash prize up to $500. Then return in the evening for a fireworks display you won't want to miss. Save the date, Saturday, July 10th, for our annual open-air concert on Nixon Beach. Join us on the beach itself or anchor offshore to listen to free fall perform from the beach house. Unlike last year, reservations will not be required for beach access. However, amenity tags and parking passes are always required to access Nixon Beach, so come prepared. Our virtual kids fishing tournament is back this year on set Sunday, July 11th. Participants 17 or under are encouraged to go out any time of day, July 11th, and try to catch the largest fish in Apple Canyon Lake. To enter, simply take a photo of your catch next to the designated Virtual Kids Fishing Tournament measuring area at the marina. Remember, we are going by length, not weight. Then, be sure to submit your fish photo along with your name, age, and subject line, Kids Fishing, to the Apple Corps email below. Trophies will be awarded to the first through third largest catches. Early registration for the Trail Trekker 5K for a Cause will be closing on Sunday, July 11th. This year's Trail Trekker proceeds will go to benefit the American Cancer Society. So be sure to register by July 11th to guarantee you receive your desired t-shirt size, save on registration, and help support this great cause. You can register online at applecanyonlake.org forward slash TT5K or at the association office. After a long, hard morning of running around on Saturday, July 24th at the Trail Trekker 5K for a Cause, don't forget to stop back at the Firehouse Fitness Center parking lot that evening for the sizzling summer concert featuring 10-gallon hats starting at 7 p.m. And now I would like to introduce Sean Nordley, our general manager, with the GM update. Hello, this is Sean Nordley, uh, General Manager here at Apple Canyon Lake. Uh, I'm going to start out this week talking about the Verizon cell phone tower. Uh, we signed a contract with them last year and then we got into COVID and they delayed the project. And unfortunately, I heard back from Verizon this week and they've canceled that project. So we will not have a Verizon cell phone tower now. Um, we'll continue to work on this. The one thing that helped us uh, in the last couple of years to, to have them realize they need one out here was complaints from 
Verizon cell phone users. So if you if you use Verizon for your cell phone and you come out to the lake and your service is not great, I would say complain to Verizon. And hopefully we can be considered in the future again for a cell phone tower. But unfortunately, for now, we're not going to have that cell phone tower uh, going in anytime soon. Uh, next, I want to talk about fish shocking. Now, we were out on, on the lake on June 10th. Uh, with Joe Rush, our lake consultant, and uh, uh, did our, our spring fish shock. Now it was hot, as everybody knows, the weather's been warm and the lake temperatures are warmer than usual right now. It's 78 degrees for the lake temperature. So uh, the, the bluegills, we didn't get a lot of them. We did get some nice size, nine plus inch uh, bluegills out there. We got a lot of different classes in the younger classes, um, but we didn't get typically what we get in the spring because because of the water temperatures and the heat. Uh, the, the largemouth bass though, we, it was great. I mean, we had a lot of uh, fat uh, fish. We had a lot of 14 inch plus, and we got into the 16, 17, 18 inch also. Uh, and we're, so that means we're getting out of that 13 inch stunt that we were in a couple years ago, where we couldn't get the fish past that 13 inch. And a lot of those were, were thin. So they were fighting over the food out there. Uh, we're now, they're, they're fat, they're healthy. So uh, the, the largemouth uh, population is doing very well out there. We actually also got quite a few walleye, uh, which was surprising for the spring shock, and we actually got them in, in shallow water, but we had about a dozen walleye, and they ranged anywhere from 18 inch to about 27 inch, and those were also healthy looking, so that was great. Uh, we did have a few different classes of smallmouth bass, uh, so what we've been stocking the last couple of years, I think, is helping, and those fish are are uh, surviving out there and that uh, that fishery should be growing uh, as we continue to stock smallmouth. Uh, a couple of cats uh, out there also. So a good shock uh, uh, just shows that our fishery is doing well, it's healthy and uh, uh, the fishing hopefully is, is, is good for everybody out there. Last thing I want to talk about is fireworks and uh, the 4th of July weekend, which is coming up as everybody knows. Uh, the association's fireworks will be July 3rd. Uh, Saturday night, and we missed last year due to COVID, so we're going to make up for it this year. This year's show should be great. Uh, I've been working with Tim Brokel on uh, on what we're going to do with that show, but uh, because we've got two years of donations, uh, we're going to put more money into the show, and uh, we've been assured that it'll be it'll be worthwhile and it'll make up for for last year. So hope everybody's out here and can enjoy that show on July 3rd. Also want to talk about people shooting off their own fireworks. It is a violation out here at Apple Canyon Lake. Security will be out looking for those people. Um, and we do, uh, we do give out citations for that. So, so we, it, it's illegal out here. It's not something you can do. If you choose to do it, you will get a citation and security will be out there uh, enforcing our rules. So please don't do it. It, it, it does affect your neighbors. Uh, it does affect pets out here. And it's just not something that uh, is really appreciated by most people out here. So please keep them away from Apple Canyon Lake. Uh, that's all I have for this week. Everybody have a good week. Enjoy the good weather and hopefully you can get out and use the amenities. This weekend at the Pro Shop, enjoy some fish and shrimp tacos with sassy sweet tots on the side. Join us for patio dining, indoor dining, or take an order to go by calling the number below. This has been your ACL Weekly Update. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll catch up next week.